Okay, I'm starting over. Okay, so last video got more than I thought it was going to get. And I know it's not a lot for, I guess, like, quote-unquote, industry standards or whatever. But I don't know. It's a lot for me. So, yeah, I'm going to try something new this time. You're probably not going to see my mini-me's for the most part. Because they, I, I realized they had a fatal flaw. And nobody told me about it, so I'm kind of mad. Well, I'm not mad. Just like, ah! But yeah, I realized that the belt buckle wasn't colored in. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fix that for the most part. And I was also thinking of upgrading them a little, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have time for that. But yeah, uh, that's probably just going to be asynchronous with the, what's it called? Or that's going to be going on the same time that I'm editing this video. So you're not going to see this. Yeah. <sighs> also, I'm going to add more speed paints. That way, people have some to stare at. So, yeah. Um, also, this video is going to be about my Sonic Prime predictions. Hopefully, it'll be out before the 13th. If not, I'm sorry. Anyways, that's all the time I have for now. Be right back. Okay, so my first prediction is that Shadow will either have different versions of himself or uh, he'll get his own gear. Right, because like, I know what some people are thinking. Well, he wasn't in the blast or he's not like ghost in that weird like half realm thing. So therefore, he can't have different versions of himself. But I'm also going to direct you to this one clip or this one scene where he like tries to go in, but then gets forced back out and it has like all these different lights. Or I'll put it up on screen just to show y'all. And I've seen other people talk about it too. And it's like, there was way too much emphasis on that scene or on that happening for it to just be a throwaway something. Something's going to be to do with that. Either that's going to be important for when they try to stop Eggman or the Egg Council later. Or it's going to result in something. And that's another thing. I don't think Shadow's going to stay in the void. Like, either he's going to stay in there for like two or three episodes. Or the next episode, they're probably going to get some thing. This nine is probably going to build something. Right, because typically when you pe people do stuff like this in writing, it's just, you know, make it an obstacle or they have to keep him in there longer so that, you know, there's not an easy way out for Sonic to just call on Shadow to do something. Also, it's just the significance or the focus I was on that one scene. Again, it was just really, like, strange that there was such, like, and also... I mean, obviously, Shadow not being able to go through portals was, you know, an excuse as to why he didn't just go in after Sonic himself. But also the introduction of the Void and whatnot. You know, I think that really hints that they're going to do more with the, the Shatter Space or whatever it's called. Or just the, the Void. Then they let on. Like, something extra is going to be happening there. Probably, maybe even a final fight or something. But it's just the emphasis on the void, that really huge close-up to Shadow. And I went back and watched the first episode, and I noticed that the little sh effect they had on Shadow was, like, pretty similar to, like, the effect they had on the other, the other pieces of the crew when they were first split up. You know, I'll probably put ahead, go ahead, I'll probably go ahead and put that on screen. Right, but anyways, I suspect the reason that they're keeping him there is that because it would be way too easy for Sh Sonic to do things or get over obstacles. Or, you know, they have something planned for him in the void. That's another creepy idea. Like, what if he discovers, or what if Shadow discovers that he's not alone in there? What if they find some creepy behemoth? Or something. That'd be kind of spooky. And that's another reason why I suspect he might get his own gear instead. Right? Because that might be a little bonding moment for him and Nine. Either one, you know, 
he has a little one-on-one -on -one with Nine talking about it, and he gains more trust because we already established in the first episode that he does not trust Nine, or he starts trusting Nine even less because of something he says, right? And people have already pointed to, you know, Nine being kind of evil or possibly even being a villain, right, because of his behavior. And I think that's something that might set red flags on Shadow and might cause maybe even some more conflict with him and Sonic because of the way that Nine was like ready to make his own reality. But yeah, I don't think they're going to keep Shadow in the void for long because if they were, why even introduce him in the first place? And we already kind of established that nothing is really there in the void, so either gonna, they're going to add something into there or they're going to have to take him out one way or the other. I just think for like maybe the first two or three episodes, he'll stay in there. And then after that, uh, yeah, maybe Nine will make him some gear or whatever. Or better yet, maybe he might even get different versions and that causes him to, you know, become Ghost or something like the other main characters. Right, but definitely something is going to come of that scene where he tried to force his way back in with Nine's tech and then got bounced right back out and almost got into the void. Something has to come of that. Because the way that that was emphasized, there's no way that something doesn't come out of that. Yeah. Another prediction I have is um, kind of what I said earlier. Basically, like, Tails might be a villain. Or I don't think Sega would allow that. But I think maybe, like, the chances of them allowing that is like maybe 20-10%. But I definitely think he's going to have to be the center of an arc at some point right because at the very least he's gonna have to make a choice because the way that they're building up this technology with the egg council and from what we said earlier about like hit nine wanting to build his own reality definitely gonna have to make a choice at some point right and obviously sonic doesn't want them to like disappear or whatever and Sonic, we also established that he trusts him just as much as, like, the actual Tails. And that in itself might become a problem. Because this Nine, or this version of Tails established is already very smart. So, at some point, I think he might outwit the Egg Council and be able to have all that technology to his disposal. And I don't think he'll just let that slide. Right? And then there's, like, a lot of potential they can do with this character. So... You know, either he has, like, his own little arc where he kind of has a side between his, you know, kind of messed up idea and then actually helping Sonic. Or straight up, he might become a villain. But I just, like I said, that's kind of low. I don't think Sega would allow that. But they might allow that to an extent, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll become a villain for a very short amount of time. Who knows? And there really is so much to be said about this series. Like, there's great potential to draw parallels between Nine and, like, Gerald Robotnik. How the whole world, like, just messed with them every chance they got. You know, and obviously, you know, Gerald Robotnik chose revenge. But Tails doesn't have to. Or Nine doesn't have to. You know, and I think that would be a very interesting thing to play with. Or maybe they'll have a moment where Shadow... Like, looks at Nine and just kind of sees Robotnik in him a little. Or, yeah, that would be crazy. And there's, like, a lot of other stuff I wanted to add to this, too. But this video is already getting kind of long. So, yeah. Also, just real quick before I leave, I just wanted to announce that I'm going to be joining Art Fight. Or, well, I already joined. And I have a profile. And if all goes well, that will show up in this video. And yeah, I just wanted to announce that I have an Arcade account, and if anybody wants to go ahead and throw some punches, you can go ahead and send some my way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just really excited for this series, and hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm trying to challenge myself. Like, I challenge myself to try to get this video out before Sonic Prime releases its second season. But yeah... Uh, if I keep thinking about Sonic right now, I'm just going to add on more predictions. But just overall, I'm really excited. Uh, hopefully, this video goes up before then. 
and if it does go ahead and put a little star in the comments saying you made it or something i don't know yeah uh anyways i have to go side for side prime check out my outfit account let's beat each other up and uh goodbye forever not really though i'm just really lazy so this another video might come out in like two months